Hey, welcome back to my channel. It's Oga RB. That stands for Rose Bosimera. And as you see in the title, we're going to react to the Philippines innovation boom. I stopped to react to this some um, like a month ago. But finally, we it's here. Finally, it's here. Let's just go straight into the video. Yeah. Uh, um, if you like stuff like that, if you like my content and you still and you've watched more than a one video, two videos, and you're not so yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Please subscribe help a girl grow you know what i'm saying so yeah let's watch as southeast asia advances further as a competitive region thousands of startups have sprung up in the last few years the region is experiencing a massive innovation boom, boom. from super apps blockchain enabled games and revolutionary financial services in the midst of all these where does the philippines stand in the age of digital startups all right well currently what we first must know is that the country has indeed experienced massive growth in its startup ecosystem in 2021 That's according cool. to core of c in just the first 10 months of 2021 philippine startups have raised well over 800 and 58 million dollars wow. which is close to triple from 2020 this comes from as the philippines ended 2021 as the fastest growing internet economy in all of southeast asia posting a gain of well over 93 percent from 2020 as tech startups leading the way into the year they have taken the opportunity and pursued a brighter future for the country these have led to four digital businesses landing on forbes asia's 100 to watch list these are famously known as Chat Genie, a multi channel commerce platform, Chat Cloud Genie. Eats, an advanced ghost kitchen food delivery service platform, Caliber, a platform for job seekers or companies. And then something for like that, Caliber. Mongo, the fintech startup used by thousands of businesses and partners with global payment services. There are now a wide array of businesses in the country, with firms reporting over 400 organizations operating, receiving million dollar funding. What's driving Ooh, this growth for wow. hunger in the tech industry is what was brought in during both the lockdown and the rise of entrepreneurship in the country. The COVID-19 pandemic has brought in a soar in massive necessity and interest for the digital world. The internet economy, which had doubled from 2020 to 2021, is even still expected to grow ninefold by 2030 at an estimated value of over $150 billion. Ooh. A report done by Google states that digital merchants or small and medium enterprise sellers have become one of the most tech-savvy people in the country, using a wide array of digital services from payments, insurances, marketing, and so much more. Okay. This drove tech startups like the ones mentioned above into creating services and products that would then cater to both these digital merchants and consumers. Furthermore, previous initiatives brought by the government have also pushed this agenda of going digital forward. These are the likes of the 2019 Philippines Innovation Act, which aims to fast-track development in startups by providing them funding. The unicorns or billion-dollar startups, however, are the most exciting ones to know about. Some of these unicorn startups that we will mention may not even be businesses you have not heard of so far. The first is called Revolutionary Precrafted, and it was the country's first ever unicorn startup. It is a developer of prefabricated luxury homes, which was valued at around a billion dollars back in 2017. It was also one of the fastest growing businesses ever to reach unicorn status. It only took them two years of operations to do so. However, the country's first unicorn may not at all look that grand. There have rather been several allegations, lawsuits, customers requesting refunds, and even suppliers claiming that they were lured in to make suspicious contracts. Ooh. This was because of several suspicious dealing about its CEO and the company's actual operations. The other unicorn startup is called Mint, yet Mint. it might also be a company that is least heard of. But it is actually behind the leading digital solutions application in the country called Gcash. And based on its latest funding of more than $320 million, it is a company worth over $2 billion. Ooh. It is the company opening the gaps left behind by the traditional form of financial services. With the emergence of this fintech business, it has brought in more than 48 million users, or nearly half of the country's population, into the financial world. The next and last unicorn startup, which has brought the country's BPO industry a notch higher, 
is Task Us, a BPO service corporation that is valued at more than $4.5 billion and is currently listed in the New York Stock Exchange. The company first started in 2008 in Whoa. one of the country's leading central business districts, Makati. It then grew to over 28,000 staff in over eight countries, making it one of the biggest BPO businesses in the entire world. These innovative players, especially Mint and Taskus, were just recent unicorn players in the past few years. These are signs that the country is rather changing and into a more innovative and digital hub. With startups springing up left and right, trying to take that million-dollar funding and trying to change the country. This just showcases how valuable and strong the country's innovation and entrepreneurship have become over the recent years. Anyway, what do you think about the Philippine startup industry? Share with us your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to leave us a like and follow. It's great. It's great. Like, you know, uh, most of the Asian countries, okay, like Filipino, the Philippines was one of those countries whereby they, they always used to be like, oh, the Philippines are poor. The Philippines are like this, blah, 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 blah. So it's good that they're, you know, doing this, taking initiative and growing. I feel like props, props. Way to go. It being third country, like my own country, but I see like they are very far ahead compared to us. I'm just happy that, you know, they are doing that regardless. Thank you very much for watching. I'm going to go Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Bye. -bye. Got some California love, I've been riding through the city In the Cadillac, getting faded off the Remy Had a ugly low pass, nowadays sitting pretty I know I made mistakes, I just...